Are you curious to know what's so special about Vero's beaches? Well, I'm a resident of Vero Beach and I spend time next to the ocean often. I actually moved here so I could go to the beach whenever I wanted. And I moved to Vero Beach for the sheer beauty, the small town feel and sense of community that it offers. So in this video, I wanna share with you one of Florida's well-kept secrets, what I think are some of the best beaches to visit here in Florida and in lovely Vero Beach. And I hope you will go check them out for yourself. Rachel Carroll of the Carroll Home Team, and let me take you on a tour today. Remember, you can always reach out with any questions. Welcome to Vero Beach, Florida, known for its beautiful beaches and clear blue waters. I also have a more in-depth video about Vero Beach and why I moved here if you want to go down that YouTube rabbit hole and learn more about this area. Go check that out. So first up, we have South Beach. This popular spot is known for its wide expanse of white sand and clear blue waters. It's a great place to sunbathe, swim, and even catch a few waves if you're feeling adventurous. The beach is also famous for its sunset, so it's a great spot to relax and watch the sunset with your friends and family. This, the beach is also lifeguard protected and has good facilities like bathroom, showers, and picnic tables and covered pavilions. I love to go to this beach for the day and break for lunch at one of my favorite pizza spots, South Beach Pizza, right across the street. Next, we'll take a short drive to Hummiston Park. This beachfront park offers a little bit of something for everybody, from playgrounds for the kids to picnic areas for a relaxing lunch, and it's also a great spot for snorkeling as the underwater visibility is exceptional. There's also a nice boardwalk that runs parallel to the ocean where you can sit and relax on the beaches and people watch or just zone out in the bliss of the ocean waves. This beach is also lifeguard protected and has nice facilities like bathrooms, showers, and picnic tables and covered pavilions. And it's also across the street from some really great restaurants. So if you're spending some time out of the house, you can grab breakfast or lunch while you're at it. If you're looking for a more secluded beach experience, you can head down to Round Island Beach Park. This hidden gem is the perfect spot for a quiet day on the beach with plenty of room to spread out and enjoy the natural surroundings. The beach is surrounded by a natural reserve and park, which makes it a perfect spot for nature lovers. The park also has a nature trail on the riverside where you can hike, you can explore the natural habitat of the area, and the riverside of Round Island Park also offers facilities such as restrooms. There's a real cute small playground and it's a popular destination for kayaking and paddle boarding where it's really common for you to see manatees and other Florida birds. There are also a number of beach accesses that are more hidden as you go up the island north of JC Park. So think as you're going into Indian River Shores headed to Orchid Island. Some of my favorites are Turtle Beach and Golden Sands Beach accesses. So just be warned that they don't have facilities or water spigots to hose off that sand. So you're gonna be bringing some of it home with you. But the nice thing about those less traffic beaches is just that. They're more of an old Florida beach vibe, much less populated and on any given day, you can literally walk a mile down the beach without seeing anyone. Where else can you do that? So no matter what type of beach experience you're looking for, Vero Beach has something to offer from the wide expanse of South Beach to the secu secluded beauty of Round Island. There is a beach here for everyone. So pack your sunscreen, grab your towel, and let's hit the beach. And to make sure you're always in the know, give that like and subscribe button a click, quick. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.